This is Jim McMahon today, 52 years old, still charismatic, still in his trademark sunglasses, but clearly a different man. How is your short-term memory these days? Short-term memory is not good. Uh, yeah, I won't, you know, I won't remember a hell of a lot about this interview in about 10 minutes, probably. I mean, that's, that's Lori. There are days that he gets up and he comes into the kitchen. He doesn't know why he went into the kitchen. Lori Navon is McMahon's girlfriend and lives with him in his Arizona home. He's going to the mailbox, and 20 minutes later, I see he's still in the kitchen, wandering aimlessly around the kitchen. And he said, where was I going? What was I doing? And that's when the, you know, the anger kind of comes in once in a while. He's like, oh, you dumbass, why are you doing this? What were you doing this for? Why are you, why are you in this room? You know? I play with pain. After 15 years in the NFL, countless hits, and 18 surgeries, McMahon says his life today is mostly sedentary. My body's going to start locking up. we got to go in the house soon. How about things like running, uh, working out? How active are you today? No, I haven't ran since I left the league. <laughs> Ain't nobody chasing me anymore. I'm not running. Um, I, I do play quite a bit of golf. Um, I try to work out at times, but there's just days I can't. I can't. <laughs> Couple bushes out here. But his girlfriend Lori says she is more concerned about his brain. He got a Kindle for Christmas a couple of years ago because he loves to read, but there are many times he downloads the same book and he not until he's halfway through that he realizes that he already read that book. Like phone calls, you know, guys will leave me a message and I'll I'll erase the message thinking I'll call him right back and then I forget who just called me. Does that bother you? Well, if it's an important message, yeah, it'll bother me. How much do you worry about him? I worry about him every day. I program the GPS in the car with the home address, so if he ever does get lost, he can find his way back home. You just don't know what's going to be in six months or what's going to be in a year. It's going to be real scary when it gets to the point where I can't find my way home. <laughs> 